Hey, what's up guys? Renhoek here. This is a Mass Effect 3 gameplay. I'll be using the Vanguard class. And uh, for those of you out there that are action junkies like I am, man, uh, this is the ultimate, this is the penultimate fucking class that you could possibly ever hope to use. It is uh, incredibly fun, man. Um, it's the most like just full tilt, you know, balls to the wall type class that you can run. Um, most of the classes that you use in this game, uh, some of them will tend more towards your biotic powers, like, it's, it basically equates to, like, your magic attacks, right, Ma Mass Effect 3, um, they're called biotic attacks in this game, but, um, you know, there's some classes that, that tilt more towards, like, gunplay, a combination of using your, using your guns and using your biotic powers, and, uh, there's some classes that are more geared towards, like, biotic powers and so forth, and, uh, there's just even some classes that are more geared towards your character being a tank, and uh, just you know, take a ton of damage and doing melee attacks and stuff, and just sponging damage. But uh, this class right here that I'm using is the Vanguard class, and uh, it's far and away the most fun, just most uh, just uh, frenetic class that you can use in this game. Um, I try to edit. Uh, this is actually 18 minutes of gameplay that I condensed down to about 10 or 11, I guess. And um, you can see like there's an instance uh, around the seven minute mark where I'm just like going nuts. But um, I like this class a lot, man. Uh, my 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 class setup, my my advice for you with this class, uh, there's a handful of um, powers that you need to level up. Uh, your first order of business, I think, when you get the um, Vanguard class, is to first of all try to level up your body charge, your max out your body charge. Um, that's the attack I'm using where I just like teleport across the map. Um, what's cool about it is that when you get it maxed out. Um, Whenever you do a successful bot charge, if you see that purple shield there in the, in the bottom middle of the screen, uh, every time I land a successful charge, it, it automatically goes all the way back up to 100%, which is extremely useful, man, because whenever you're in there uh, going bonkers in these, these noobs, like, you really need that, uh, that health in the middle of the battle. So um, it's important that you level that up, man, because it's far and away uh, the most useful attack. Uh, in this game, um, you know, all your Y button attacks are like the main, you know, uh, ability that your given class has, right? And so it's usually the best idea to try to level that up if you can. Um, but uh, yeah, in this case, man, um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, like uh, my Y button is the Botic Charge attack, right? Um, if you look at right bumper, uh, that's my uh, Nova attack, and what that attack does, that's, that's the attack where I do that circular pound to the ground, and uh, that attack right there, that's uh, that's the Nova attack, and uh, what it does is it, uh, it does pretty massive like melee damage to uh, everything within its radius, but the thing about it is that it drains your shields completely, so every time I do it, my shields go down to zero, but uh, the good news is that you know, uh, within just a, a second or two, my botic charge is ready to do all over again. So, like, you can just jump directly into the middle of, like, eight dudes and do major damage, man, and just start, like, wrecking people, dude. It's so much fun to use, and um, it's really good that way. Um, now, one thing you want to keep in mind, um, if you play the demo at all, you'll know this too, man, but, like, uh, in multiplayer, and I would imagine, I'd imagine it's this way in single player as well, but... Uh, and I don't multiplayer in the demo. Uh, you want to use uh, the heavy pistol. I think in this this game right here, I'm using a regular pistol. But the reason you want to use the pistols as opposed to using like a you know like an assault rifle or a shotgun or a sniper. The, the default loadout for this class is like a pistol and a shotgun. Uh, the problem with that is that uh, when you carry more weight with your weapons, it, it adds more mass to your character and they're ability to recharge powers uh, slows down quite a bit like like right what you see right now I couldn't in a million years like pull the stuff off if I was using like a heavier weapon so um, my favorite loadout is to use like a small pistol in particular the heavy pistol um, there's a maximum recharge speed on your powers of 200 percent and uh, it, it, you can't see right now but uh, in your loadout screen when you customize your character and, and what type of weaponry they're using uh, you can see like what their recharge rate is on their powers, and so uh, my advice is to oh yeah I left this in here too. Um, this class is really squishy. Uh, sometimes you can get caught in the middle of some crazy shit and uh, you'll get put down. 
like a noob and I just kind of left it in there so that uh, th this is a very like mercurial class and uh, it's just really easy to get put down if you just you know if you put yourself in a bad spot but another thing to keep in mind too man is that like uh, one of the different uh, uh, special specializations that you can level up is your shield and your health and uh, both of those were like like the first the very first level for me in this game like I'm not I hadn't really leveled them up at all so my character really couldn't take much damage at all and I was still able to pull off like what you see here in this gameplay so um, it's just a really action-packed class man and it's a lot of fun and and frankly, I think it kind of spoils you too, man. Like, uh, it's, it's hard to play something else when you have so much fun just diving in there and, like, raping everybody with this uh, Vanguard class. I mean, there's no other class uh, that plays anything close to, to what this is. So, again, my advice is to uh, level up your Botic attack and also your Nova attack. That's the right bumper attack you see. If you look at the bottom middle, it's uh, right bumper. Um, left bumper is the Shockwave attack. It's, you know, in my experience... Uh, it's pretty worthless in the demo. You really don't need it, you know, between the other the other two attacks you have, you know, because they're a lot more useful. But um, it does exist there, and uh, it's worth taking into account too that like with it being the demo, you only get to play against the Cerberus breed of enemies. So it could happen where like if you play against different enemy types, that you know it's, it's more useful to have Shockwave. Um, you don't even get to see it in this video because like I don't even use it like one time, but. Um, just max out those two attacks as quick as you can, man. You want to focus on your bionic, or I'm sorry, your yeah, your bionic charge and your um, other one, the Nova, and uh, you'll be all set. And uh, I also want to show you this too, man. Uh, right here, when I'm battling this Atlas, this giant robot, uh, what you see right now, uh, it's basically like a way for you to uh, head glitch. Um, if you're familiar with all that terminology, it's basically just where you can like shoot the enemy without them being able to like sh basically see you or, or fight back. And uh, so when you're behind a piece of cover like that, as long as your reticule is on them, your your uh, crosshair, as long as it's on them at all, no matter what you're behind, like if, if that crosshair is on them, then it'll register those shots, and you can uh, you can shoot them from behind cover. Like right now, he can't he can't shoot me right. And so I kind of left that in there to show you guys that real quick. Uh, that you can, like, that's the most effective way to sort of shoot at enemies is to do it from behind cover. So there's that. Um, and, uh, yeah, man, like uh, like I said, man, just, just uh, use a pistol as your primary. Um, I would recommend using a pistol that allows you to have 200% um, recharge speed. There's, there's a heavy pistol that allows you to do that. And uh, the heavy pistols do more damage than the light pistols. So... I recommend using them and uh yeah man uh i mean it's it, it, it might look like i'm like you know good using skill but like i'm literally just uh uh like pressing the y button at every turn whenever there's enemies nearby and uh the rounds going on like uh i literally just uh spam the y button over and over again and uh, as soon as like my my character sees like a red square of any sort for an enemy, like uh, she'll basically just lock onto it and just uh, uh, attack it on her own. Like there's no aiming on my part at all. I'm literally just like spamming the Y button. And as soon as you see the circle in the middle of the screen on my reticule, like sort of close in there and, and formulate that white uh, overlay, uh, that's when my attack is gonna recharge and I can just do another bio charge and get my health back. Yeah, so it's just a really fun class to use, man. And, uh, I mean, I just, I had a ball with it, man. I mean, the other classes are fun too, but uh, if you're anything like me and, and you're just like a, a fucking, um, just a warrior, you know? <laughs> I'm not, you know, I shouldn't say warrior, but uh, if you're like me at all and you like just the, the fast pacing, then um, you'll, you'll, you'll love the Vanguard class for sure. Um, it was far and away the most fun one for me. And um, every game I've played with it pretty much, I was like the top scoring player because like, I mean, as you can see here, I'm just like in the middle of like eight dudes, like rape, just wrecking everybody. If you look at the kill feed in the bottom right corner, like it's IRN Hoek, like Nova, Botic Charge, Nova, 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 you know, so it's just, it's just really dominating class, man. And uh, like I said, it, it can get you in trouble. Um, it's probably not the best overall type class to run by yourself because it's just so like high risk, high reward. But uh, if you're a good player and uh, if, if you manage your, your pacing and your attacks well, I mean, you can pretty much get away with anything. Like right here, I'm like in a terrible spot and I'm all caught up in this corner and stuff getting beat down and like I managed to do another bike charge and roll away and, and, and finally escape, you know, so 
Um, you just gotta kind of get a feel for it. Uh, it might not be for everybody, but um, for my money, man, it's like the uh, most fun class to use. Uh, the uh, Vanguard class in Mass Effect 2 wasn't nearly as uh, powerful and, and useful as it is in Mass Effect 3. But uh, I'm at, I actually, uh, I've been talking about this with my friends and stuff um, as far as Mass Effect 3 and like what the final game is going to be like. And uh, we, we all kind of have this suspicion that uh, Bioware will uh, nerf this class because it's just so just like powerful and like it's just head and shoulders above the other ones, man. Because like, uh, I mean, it, I actually think it's probably pretty annoying to, to have a Vanguard teammate in every game because like they're always going to be the top scoring teammate. So we have the suspicion that they're going to nerf this class, but we'll see how it plays out. Um, but definitely get this demo, man. This game is so much fun and it's a, it's a nice change of pace if you're like me and you're all up in the multiplayer scene, you know, playing first person shooters and stuff. Um, just a really fun and gratifying game. And uh, like I said, man, uh, Check out that Vanguard class and uh, give it a try, man. It's a lot of fun. And uh, just spam attacks all day. So, yes. Uh, hope that kind of uh, shed some light on the classes for you. Um, I definitely think Vanguard is the most uh, dominating one. And uh, as you can see here, I was like the top leading scorer and stuff. I, mean, I just had like crazy points. Like you can see, like I outscored my teammates by quite a bit, even though they're both ranked like way higher than I am. So. Um, Vanguard is definitely the way to go if you're a uh, ADD 12 year old kid or whatever like I am or at least have the mentality of one and uh, yeah it's fun man so uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, yeah have a good day alright see ya bye